What's up, YouTube? Day 15. I'm dying. No, I'm I'm fine. God's got me on a... Called me to a 22-day faster. And um, I don't normally talk, but this is going to benefit somebody probably in the future. Um, if God calls you to it, you can do it. I'm on day 15. I want to talk to you for a moment about Hebrews. Uh, Paul... In Hebrews, if he in fact wrote Hebrews, it's speculated, possibly, probably. Hebrews 6, uh, 1. Therefore laying the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, keyword repentance, and of faith toward God. 6, 2. Of the doctrines of baptisms. Excuse me, plural. Baptisms. <sighs> coffee ah, I got belching from coffee and of laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment okay Hebrews 6 3 and this will we do if God permits 6 4 for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and had tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost I'm going to stop right there okay the heavenly gift the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The writer of Hebrews, which is unknown for the most part, probably Paul, possibly somebody else. We Maybe it's, we don't see a book of Thomas anywhere. Maybe it was Thomas. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> but the key points I want to show, he's always pointing back to the beginning. He's talking about the doctrine of Christ. He mentions repentance. He mentions Doctrine of baptisms. Well, Ephesians said Paul is there's only one baptism. So he's obviously referring to, Paul was talking to about one water baptism in Ephesians 4, 5. Um, Hebrews 6, 2 is talking about the doctrine of baptisms, plural, meaning the water baptism and the Holy Ghost baptism. Okay, the whole born again enchilada package. He's The writer of Hebrews is telling us, after we've done these things, let us go on further unto perfection. Okay, and he, he lays it out. Um, not laying, again, the foundation of repentance, meaning we're not going to be going back into sin. We're going to go up or forward with Christ without sin. Okay, that's how we're going to live. That's what we're going to strive for. Of the doctrine of baptism and on laying and of laying on of hands, sometimes you get the Holy Ghost when you lay hands, Paul, Acts 19. And of, res and of resurrection of the dead, okay, and of eternal judgment, okay. So the resurrection of the dead, some eternal life, some eternal damnation, and of eternal judgment, yeah. So, um, and this will we do. They're going to preach this to the newcomers coming in, okay. But he says, let us that have already been born again, let us go on into perfection. Okay, prayer, Bible reading, Bible study, abstinence or resistance of sin, listening to daddy when Jesus tells you something through the Holy Ghost. Perfect example. He's got me, Ron, you're going to fast. See, I don't have a choice in all this. I do it. Okay. Um. If it was me, I couldn't do this by myself, but he's helping me. It's It's been a miracle the whole 15 days. Just about every day I have not been hungry. It's absolutely unbelievable to me. Now, it's a roller coaster. I mean, I'll feel like garbage, and then I'll, or good, and I'll, then I'll feel like garbage, and I'll feel good. You know, it, it's taxing. You can probably see it on my face. I can see it on my face. <laughs> but um, God willing, you know. He'll get me through no problem. I got another seven days. But um, I just wanted to share this Hebrews thing, okay? That's all. I'm in, I'm writing my books right now. I've got a, I don't know what you call this. I got one called A Study of Basic Bible Doctrines. I'm also doing a Trinity Delusion 2 book. Um, there might be another one. Biblical, being biblically born again. I don't know. I'm pondering that, but... Uh, We'll see because these basic, these basic, uh, to me, what I'm writing is basic, but, and, and they're very important, but um, 
you know, it's it's so it's so not known in ministry. The these these things that are constantly repeated in scripture and these these religious uh, things, people, churches, preachers, teachers, it, it's so not known to them. And another thing the Holy Ghost told me to point out in this video, he said, um, you know, it, don't gauge, uh, if you gauge success by uh, what they tell you on this earth, you're missing it. Jeremiah was very successful, yet he only had a couple converts. He's probably got one of the biggest spreads in heaven that you will ever see. <laughs> his mansion, I'm talking about his mansion. It's probably a massive city. <laughs> he was a very successful preacher, prophet, and, and almost everybody, uh, they wouldn't listen. They put him in prison. They tried. The king tried to kill him, yet he was very successful. See? You do what you're called to do, and God will reward you. And that's that, it, that's the whole thing about this walk with Jesus Christ. God will reward you. It, you can have the whole world against you, and you will still win, and they will lose. That's the thing about Jesus. See, he don't give a flip about man's politics, and I don't give a flip either. <laughs> I am going to be a winner in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is helping me be a winner. And it doesn't matter. I don't care if I sell any books. It doesn't matter. These books I wrote, I write, they're in heaven. They're going to be a reward for me, for my mansion. Come visit me in my mansion one day if you make it. That's all. God bless you. Get born again. Acts 238 is the biblical pattern. Don't let the lying, deceiving preachers tell you false because they're full of you know what acts 238 is the pattern to get born again and i don't care what they say jesus don't care either paul don't care either. <laughs> the bible is the bible and that's all there is to it you either like it or you lump it and if you don't like it you're probably gonna end up in the lake of fire and i'm sorry you were a great prophet on this earth oh and jesus gave you gifts of prophecy and you prophesied oh Oh, and then Matthew 70 cast you in the lake of fire for not being born again. Real smart prophet. That's all. God bless.